Hello guys, welcome all. I'm your host, none other than Deko Mohammed. <clears throat> Today, uh, I would like to do this question that was tested in Castanet Business Data, question number 25. Uh, the question goes like this, it was section two. Farmgate Company Limited produces and sells shovels. The company provides the following data for quantities of shovels produced and the related production costs for the calendar year 2021. We have the month from January up to December. We have the quantity produced in units. We also have the production cost. Required A, determine the variable cost by unit and the total variable cost using regression analysis. B, estimate the total production cost if the following uh, number of units are produced. Number one, 100,000 units. Two, 150,000 units. Three, 200,000 units. Include the lower and upper boundaries at 95% confidence interval. C, prepare a chart plotting the predicted Y against the actual Y from the regression function determined in A above. Interpret your answer. So, uh, we are going to use a regression analysis. So we are going to, I'm already in Excel. The question is already in Excel. So what we are going to do, we go to data. Then after data, we go to data analysis. Remember, if your Excel does not have a data analysis, I have shown a video of how to add the data analysis tab. You can go and watch it. So you go to data analysis. Then from that data analysis, we select the regression model. We select the linear regression. This regression. You select regression, then you click OK. So you have the input Y and the input X. Remember, cost this. Uh, quantity produced will be our X because it is the independent. And production cost will be our Y because it is the dependent. Remember, dependent, uh, cost will always depend on the quantity produced. So Y is dependent and then X is independent. So our independent X is quantity produced. So we are going to have, let's start with the Y, input Y, which is the production cost. So I'm going to copy this. Then I go to X, which is the production units. Sorry, I want to repeat, I want to repeat that X. Let me repeat X. Then our confidence level, we are told is 95% from the question. We are going to maintain 95%. Then this output rate is how we want our data to be seen. Me, I want to open a new worksheet. So I have to select a new worksheet. I have to select a new worksheet. I want to I want this data to be seen in a new worksheet. Then I click OK. It's taking time, but it will come. Yes. So this is my output. Let me increase in size so that you're able to see it. Reduce it. Yes. I hope now it's somewhat clear. Yes. You see now, this is the what I got. The intercept, the intercept and the X variable. Remember, we always say that when it is normal, this thing Y is always is equal to A uh, plus PX, A plus PX. And remember, our A is the fixed cost, fixed cost, fixed cost. Fixed cost, in, we can see in bracket A, this fixed cost in bracket A will be, 
will be equal a uh, fixed cost. This one on the intercept is a fixed cost. This one is our intercept is a fixed cost. So let me copy that. So that, that will be our fixed cost. Our variable cost, uh, variable cost, variable cost, uh, which is B, variable cost, which is B, uh, this will be now, a variable cost now is this x variable. I copy it. Then I paste it. Now, this is our variable cost per unit. And the question was asking the total variable cost. Now, I have to go back to we want to calculate the total cost. So you see where we have our sheet two. Sorry, if I go back to sheet one, this, uh, this was our production cost. I want I just want to calculate it here, the total variable cost. I just want to show it here. I want to show it here. Uh -huh. Total variable cost, total variable cost. Let me have it uh, T. C, V, C, total variable cost, total variable cost. Then remember this thing is this in shillings. Now, what we are going to do for us to get the total variable cost? So remember we already have the, if I go to C2, let me copy this, uh, let me copy this, uh, uh, our variable cost per unit and bring it here. Remember this was our variable cost per unit. I paste it here. These are variable cost by unit. We want to calculate the total total variable cost. What we are going to do, we will take, we will write is equal to, then we take that variable cost by unit. Then, uh, since this formula is different, we need to lock it. We just take this, multiply it by the quantity produced, but we have to lock it first. Let us lock it first. Let us lock it first. We need to lock it. By locking means you introduce a dollar sign uh, before the letter B and after the five. I have introduced a, a dollar sign. Remember initially it was just uh, is equal to, then I selected that P5, uh, cell P5, which was the variable cost per unit. Now for me to lock it before the letter B, I have to put a dollar sign then after letter five, before letter five, I have to put another dollar sign. That's now for this case, I have locked it. Then this multiply with our uh, 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 county produce. Then we're able to get our, we're able to get our total variable cost. Then we, we just fill this. Uh, we just uh, double click. My result is still loading. That's hung. We are let the uh, I need to wait. Yes. Now for me to get the total, we need to get the total variable cost. Total variable cost. Uh, just get the summation of that. We go to out auto sum then get the sum, then click enter. This is now the total variable cost that I've been asked in question A, total variable cost. This is the total variable cost. I have put it on a red plane. Remember now, we also been, we have been asked, uh, estimate the total production cost if the following units are produced. We have, 100,000 units, 150,000 units, and then 200,000 units produced. Uh, let me copy this. Remember, we have 100, 150, and 200. 100. I want to do it here. Let me have the units, units produced. 
units produced. We have the units produced, which was in the question we have been given 100,000. Then we had 150,000. Then we have 200,000. Want to estimate. And remember always, this was our formula. Y is equal to A plus PX. Y is equal to A plus PX. Now, this was our A, this is our B. Let me take first A. I have to write is equal to first. Get is equal to. Then I take A. Then I log it. Before I continue, I have to log it. Uh, introduce a dollar sign before the letter. And then also before the number, you know, the dollar sign. From this, we take plus, we have to take plus A. Our A, before I introduce the, the A, I need to open a bracket, then take A. Sorry, I need to take B now. Take B, I lock it first before I continue. Shift dollar sign. Before also the letter six, I need to lock it. Now, once you take that, that is our B, multiply now by X, which is the variable here, 100,000 units. Multiply this with 100,000 units, which is our, this one. Now, close the bracket, click enter. And then we just fill, autofill the rest. Just autofill the rest. That is our units produced. That was question number B. This, remember, you already have your 20 marks. You just use the statistics. Uh, you go to that, you, you start with the uh, data analysis. And if you don't have that data analysis, you need to uh, check it on. You need, you need to check it uh, on, on my video of how to add the data analysis tab. Remember, the last part was asking about uh, uh, a chart. Now, for me to have the chart, I need to take this uh, month and I, I need to copy this month quantity produced. I need to copy it. Then I go to just even without copying it, just go to data, data. Then data analysis, regression, click OK. Then now you check this uh, residual plot, residual plot. Then click OK. You're, you're able to get this is now what you wanted. This is our uh, graph that they wanted in part C. I hope you enjoyed the class. That was a brief class on business data question number 25. If you don't, yeah, if you are not understood, just repeat the video. Uh, I will still put so many questions uh, uh, the, as much I can. Thank you for watching. Uh, welcome all.